Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Arencia. Arencia is a newer class of medication uh, injectable, and it's primarily used to treat different forms of arthritis. Now, different forms, it could be psoriatic arthritis, where you get some of the scaling along with the arthritis. Um, rheumatoid arthritis. You can also use it in kids with juvenile arthritis. So, um, but again, used for arthritis as a whole. As far as how it's dosed, it can be given intravenously or subcutaneously. I tend to see it more subcutaneously, and that's 125 milligrams, and you do that once a week. You can do it at home, but it's going to kind of be your doctor's call between you and your doc. It can be given as an IV infusion. And it's, I like to let people know that when you do an IV infusion, that means you're coming into the doctor's office. So there is a convenience factor involved. But if you go that route, you're gonna take it on day zero, obviously your first day, then uh, 14 days later, then 28 days uh, later. And then once you get to that 28 day mark, you'll be coming in once a month or every four weeks to get your injection. So the generic for Arencia is a Batacept. And I always think it's important that if you're going to take a medication, you understand how it works in your body because when you know that, you'll understand why you may experience some side effects. So what a Batacept or Arencia does is it blocks T cells. Now what they found in folks with arthritis, excuse me, is that when they look at the synovium, which is the membranes and some of the fluid that surround the joint, they can find T cells in there and those T cells are involved in inflammation. Now again, um, inflammation is not all bad. Part of our immune response involves inflammation, but in some folks the inflammation gets out of whack or just gets to be too much. And that's one of the concerns we have with people who have arthritis is the T cells are problematic. So the idea with Herencia is to block that. Now that we know if you're blocking inflammation or part of the immune system, you understand that one of the biggest side effects we're worried about if you take Arencia is an increased risk of various infections. Now, this up arrow means not that if you take it, there's a 54% chance you'll get an infection. It just means it's gone up that high. And the rate of infection varies from person to person. Where we really worry about Arencia is upper respiratory tract stuff, bronchitis. So if you're somebody who has a history of COPD or um, emphysema or something like that, Arencia would most likely not be a good choice. Um, some of the numbers that you'll see, you know, you're, you're gonna get maybe five to 15% of folks that can develop bronchitis. So it's, I, I put up to 54% um, because it has been seen, that's not common. But you know, you're gonna see some of these infections in roughly 10% of folks. Um, because it's an injectable, it's a newer medication, what will happen also is that your body will recognize the drug and start developing antibodies to it. Now, when it starts developing antibodies, there's extremes. In two to 41%, again, a wide range, so you just don't know, your body will develop antibodies in the in a subset of those people it's going to develop what are called neutralizing antibodies that means it's neutralized the effectiveness of Arenci. you'll have to go off it try something else so that is a risk factor developing neutralizing antibodies is very rare you know one to two percent of folks but seeing the effectiveness of the drug go down over time is usually a sign that you're developing antibodies to it headache up to 18% of people, nausea around 10% of people. So side effects, uh, they exist, they can be problematic. Again, I'd worry more people with any sort of breathing issues on Arencia, probably not a great choice. Hair loss, weight gain, always get asked those, so I, I like to touch on them. As far as those two side effects, you you don't see them. I haven't seen them. Um, they're not, they don't show up in any of the studies or the literature. It doesn't mean it can't happen, but I would say it's very, very rare. Um, I, I would be surprised if it did happen. Screening, because Arencia interacts with your immune system, essentially, they're gonna monitor your hepatitis, so your liver function. They're also gonna be looking at your TB status, tuberculosis status. The one thing to keep in mind, a lot of these um, 
rheumatoid drugs that act on arthritis, they can actually, they've shown in studies to be able to reactivate hepatitis B. So it's something your doctor will most likely monitor. Finally is cost. Even if you have private insurance, the copays can come back high depending on your plan. Um, Arencia, the drug company, does offer some financial assistance for folks. So that's something to keep in mind. I'll include a link uh, in the description on the video um, so you have access to that. It varies a lot on which program you can use. If you're stuck, reach out to your rheumatologist. Your rheumatologist almost always has access to a pharmacist or a technician. Um, that's a big part of our jobs is to help people navigate that maze that can become the financial aspect of some of these drugs. Just know that there's help out there and this link will at least get you started uh, down the path if, if you need some financial assistance. So again, I'll, I'll include a link there. Curtis Alexander, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up would be appreciated. Uh, subscribe and let me know any questions in the comments. I'll do my best to uh, answer those. So until the next video, I appreciate it.